Good enough. Basic, basic narrative construction of the mural. Uh, reading from right to left. Figures. Right to left. Right to left. Those, those figures are creating wings, sewing on feathers, and they're being brought over, carried over to here where they're being strapped on to human beings. And, those, and, and through that cooperation and collaboration, those individuals are able to take flight and have uh, that, that, that freedom. The automatic response people have to that is they are, they're angels. It's the angelic scene. Uh, we, if we talk to people, we try to stress that, that it's not, they're not, they have angelic overtones, but they are not angels. They're homemade wings the thought being that every person has the ability to achieve that freedom and flight. As far as the construction of the mural, started on the ground plane, created uh, that, that progression from creating the wings and putting them on folks. And then, and then the, great, the great aerial chaos started to, started to form. Oh, uh, we start with the bottom characters. Once we discovered that we had a, 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 a potential for a circular geometric form being introduced into it, we uh, formed the other characters to emphasize that. The upper right-hand character breaks that form a little bit so it's not a blatant, blatant circle and also creates a sort of an eclipsing circle that the top top right iconographic character which is symmetric and is sort of the title of the mural stands um, about that character um, it's an awkward it's sort of an awkward compositional decision to put a, almost a stagnant character up in the upper right hand corner but instead of putting bold letters down on the bottom that spell hope h-o-p-e the eye when one follows the mural, usually ends up in the upper right-hand corner, and you're left with that that image. Also, it's sort of a a nice a singular image that defines the mural. Um, and then, the sort of composition within the composition, there's a small boy character pointing to a feather. Where is that? Uh, that's down here on the bottom the bottom row right oh, yeah. here. And proportionally, that has, has a similar um, structure as the rest of the mural. That being that 95% of it is, is filled with, with a full character, as in 95% of the mural is filled with characters and flying folks. And then the upper right-hand corner is the symbol of hope. So in this case, we have the feather, and in this case, we have the smaller child, the smallest child with wings. Um, up there, so it's sort of an interesting micro-macro thing going on there. Uh, the numbers of characters are 30 characters. The bottom row has 17 characters, which in my numerology system is uh, love and unity. The flying characters are 13 flying characters, and there are 13 feathers coming down from the characters, um, one being held and the other ones floating about. Uh, so there's essentially one feather for every character in the air. Um, and so once again, that also reemphasizes with the small boy pointing at the feather, that feather could very well directly be linked to the character in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, enforcing the circular idea, we made children in the center. The adults have a, a stiller feel to them. The children are more uh, fleety, a little bit more whimsical and the smallest characters in the center creating sort of pseudo perspective going going backwards sort of like the renaissance uh, chapel ceilings with the angels uh, degressing away from the viewer and essentially that's that's about it um, most most folks read this strictly as the rescue workers at the bottom freeing people from the rubble uh, and once we explain that there isn't, that is not a direct link, we describe what it is, folks seem to take to the idea, they, they like the idea of it being an optimism mural, that 
more about individuals being able to have freedom and flight and maybe through the help of other people they can achieve that.